We are Chrissy and Laura and we are studying German language and literature at the University of Dresden and we are interested in easy read language. What is easy to read language? Easy to read language refers to a rarity as a part of the standardized German language, which is characterized by a rather simplified lexical, grammatical and syntactical structure. The concept has proven to be most applicable in writing thus far. How is the concept rooted in the context of inclusion? The main concern of easy to read language is that of accessibility. The concept of which has become increasingly important nowadays, especially with the growing impact of the internet as a common source for information. Public buildings have to be easily accessible for physically disabled people, for instance. But Despite the concept being so commonly implemented in the public infrastructure, language as another important social instrument still lacks the general accessibility. Therefore, easy to read language aims to provide that missing link by targeting the very idea of accessibility on the level of language, thus guaranteeing accessibility to people suffering from various cognitive or sensory restrictions. Easy to read language can help to let these people have open access to different types of information and to also let them be more involved in social life. What are the target groups of easy to read language? Easy to read language aims at a rather heterogeneous group of prospective recipients. The ones that are addressed most directly are people with learning disabilities both recipients with a limited scholastic capability due to illiteracy, as well as a mentally disabled people or ones with physically brain damage. Other recipients include people suffering from dementia or simply ones unable to speak or understand the standardized language or ones unable to read very well. Can you give an example of easy to read language? Yes, and the initiative Inclusion Europe uses um, easy to read language in order to, um, uh, to provide uh, accessibility uh, to information and also to um, include people with intellectual disabilities and their families in social life. So on their website they present themselves as follows. Um, our network. Inclusion Europe has a large network of members all over Europe. Our members include the organizations of people with intellectual disabilities and their families at national, regional and local level. Inclusion Europe is a member of Inclusion International, which is the worldwide organization of people with intellectual disabilities and their families. So at European level, we are a member of the European Disability Forum, we call it EDF for short, and EDF is the European Association of People with All Disabilities. So as we can see here, um, uh, Inclusion Europe uses short sentences, they repeat uh, central terms and they describe abbreviations. And moreover, um, they make efforts to write clearly and to um, avoid abstract or ambiguous language. Um, in terms of layout design, um, the sentences are arranged as a list in order to guarantee clarity too. What is the typical process of translating a text, for instance a word document, in easy to read language? Yes, uh, the translation process is a very complex one and it takes place in many partly parallel preceded steps. But the main target is always the creation of communication. So normally experts have to focus on the readers of the text, which are the specific target group, target groups, as I just said. But this can also lead to problems um, if addresses are unknown, for example, in case of an internet publication. Generally spoken, the translators of easy to read language are not just translating um, an unintelligible text into an easy language. They also have to comment or to interpret a certain content for uh, a specific audience. So this is why they could be also called mediators between two language levels more so than uh, translators. Can anyone translate text into easy to read language? As a rule, uh, linguists have jurisdiction in the uh, translation or production process of easy to read language. It may be also seen as a large interdisciplinary field of science and this is because during the translation process 
um, the so-called translator must go beyond not only linguistic but also uh, medical, psychological or sociological aspects and he or she must also have uh, knowledge about questions of design. But there are also translators who do not have linguistic backgrounds. For example, in Germany there exists an initiative of Dresden that is called What do I have? Was hab ich? where medical uh, students translate medical reports in easy-to-read language. So such understandable formats can be equally as helpful for many other people needing information uh, in terms of very specialized fields. Um, alongside these translators there are also people who are part of the Tata group and who are also uh, involved in the translating process. Um, the, as is the, the case for organizations such as Capito in Austria, for example. In certain cases, the respective translator is advised to have his work reviewed by so-called experts who are the uh, addressees of East Tree language uh, themselves. And the main idea here is uh, that these experts, if these experts are able to understand and the text and its content, so is the rest of the touch group too.